Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on how to program these PID controllers for your kiln. Um, I use this on my toaster oven kiln video. I'll leave a card up at the top if you haven't seen that yet. They're pretty easy to program once you get your head wrapped around it. The first thing is if you want to do the set point, just like, you know, I do powder coating sometimes, small parts, and I use this small toaster oven kiln to bake the powder coating on. In that case, I don't need a whole program ramp and soak. I just need it to go to a certain temperature. And to do that, you just hold the up arrow right here until there, and it says set point, and you can set the set point. So right now it's off basically at 30 degrees, but I would set it up to like 400 for powder coating and then let it time out, and it will go to that temperature immediately. So very quickly, and, uh, and that would be for powder coating. Now, if you wanna do like a soak and ramp, for lost wax uh, casting or lost uh, resin casting, which is what I do sometimes. It's a whole program and to program it, you hit set and the side arrow together. It'll say loop, hit set, you're gonna start cycle, uh, timed out. Hit set and the, oh, okay. Then you start cycling through this until run, we'll get to later, program we'll get to later, Segment is where we want to be. R1 is segment one ramp. So I have it ramping for 15 minutes to, and it's going to hold for 180 minutes at 212. So it's going to take 15 minutes to get from whatever temperature it is to 212, and it's going to hold for two hours, 120 minutes. Then after that, it's going to ramp over the course of two hours, 120 minutes. It's going to hold for 120 minutes at a temperature of 842. So it's going to take two hours to get to 842 from the 212 it was and hold for 120 minutes or two hours at 842. Then over 120 minutes, R03, segment three, it's gonna take 120 minutes. It's gonna hold for 240 minutes at 1250. So it's gonna take two hours to get to 1250 and then it's gonna hold there for 240 minutes. And that's the last sequence I have, but you can keep on doing it. Now to start this sequence, you need to let it time out after you've programmed it for whatever ramp, hold, and temperature time. You're gonna go back into that same menu, so set and then the side arrow. You're gonna to go to run, and you're gonna to go to three. Now it's important that the program is on one because that's the segment it's gonna start at. If you put it on segment two, it'll start at segment two. You don't want that, you wanna start it at segment one. And then it'll just go. So right now you can see the auto-tune light came on. Uh, it's at 101 degrees inside, um, or sorry, the set point is 101 degrees, it's 94 inside. And you can see it'll start, the out will start clicking on as it slowly heats up to that 212 degrees for segment one over the course of 15 minutes. And that's all you do. When you want to go ahead and turn the program off, it would stop automatically if, it, if the whole program runs. But let's say you didn't program it right. You just go back into this side, side arrow and set key. You go to run and you drop it down to zero. And that, then it's off basically. It'll turn back off. It'll stop running that program. So that's how you program these things. I hope that makes sense. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. Hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.